स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू सोर्सेस क्लासेस दिस इज आई एस आई बी स्टार्ट सब्जेक्टिव टू थाउजेंड एटीन कम्प्लीट सोल्यूशन सो फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज दट ए बी सी इज बिलोंग्स टू नेचुरल नंबर एंड सच दैट ए स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर इक्वल टू सी स्क्वायर एंड सी प्लस इज बी इक्वल टू वन वी टू प्रूव दैट ए इज ऑट बी इज डिविजिबल बाई फोर एंड ए टू दी पार बी प्लस बी टू दी पार इज डिविजिबल बाई सी सो द फर्स्ट सोल्यूशन इज वेरी ईजी ए स्क्वायर इक्वल टू सी स्क्वायर माइनस बी स्क्वायर एंड सी प्लस बी इक्वल टू टू बी प्लस वन a square equal to c square minus b square so with respect to modulo of 1 so this is modulo of sorry modulo of 2 if we use so this the remainder is 1 so that is if a not equal to 0 with respect to modulo of 2 as a square identically equal to 1 so modulo 2 this is only possible if a is odd so the first part is proved second part is we take divisibility we take this odd as we have already know so 8 a equal to 2 n is there in the equation yeah a equal to 2 n plus 1 so obviously b equal to a square minus 1 by 2 is there so we can write 2 k into n plus 1 Zero as it is divisible with respect to modulo four as n into n plus one is even. Hence, b is a multiple of four because this is the remainder is zero. So we can say it's a multiple of four. Now coming to the third part of it. The third part is a little bit complicated. I need a new page for this. So here, in this case, we get a square c plus b. That is two c minus one minus one. So that is four. Modulo c. The remainder is this. Next is. Again, for a to the power b, we can write a to the power two k into k plus one. That is for minus one k to the power k plus one equal to one for modulo c. As k into k plus one obviously is a even number. So it's okay. Now, as b equal to c minus one of modulo one. So this is modulo c. So we can write b to the power a equal to b to the power two n plus one. That is two n plus one. It's one whole to the power two n plus one will be there. So that is of minus one is the remainder modulo c. So a to the power b plus b to the power a is one minus one is zero for modulo c. So that is this gives you directly a to the power b plus b to the power a is divisible by c as with respect to modulo c is the remainder is zero. So this part is done. In the next video, I will solve the last question in two thousand eighteen.